Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. We have number 11 from the Mandalorian line, subline I guess, Q90 in brackets, zero. The droid from chapter five or six from from uh, season one. I, I think it was chapter six, but it might have been five. I think it was six. Yes, it was six. All right. So here we have a pretty sweet picture on the side. This is the droid that was voiced by Richard Ayoade uh, from the IT crowd. So on the back it says a bug-eyed protocol droid with modified programming Q90 or 0 to his colleagues operates with precision timing. And uh, of course he got a little cameo in season 2 as a uh, basically a vocal modulator can translator for the <laughs> frog lady so uh, yeah I'm pretty pretty excited about this figure pick this one up from Kmart today uh, Australia has been getting Star Wars figures back in particularly black series uh, which is great to see nice to see more retailers um, getting these in the, it's been a little while since they've had them in apparently Kmart have just struck a deal uh, with Hasbro so they'll be giving us these figures for the foreseeable future at $35, which is the cheapest on the market at the moment down in Australia. So very worth while hunting these down because uh, yeah, it saved me 20 bucks picking up a couple of figures today. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So let's crack open Zero and have a look. All right, here is Zero in all his glory. This is a one killer action figure. He's really cool digging this one big time he's fantastic i really like the character and his appearance in uh, the mandalorian and uh yeah the figures come out very very nicely great articulation great detail um even down to using the clear pegs through the through the legs there and ankles just to give it that sort of clear um look as if it's sort of on a, on a wheel as opposed to uh, like a joint or a bolt or something like that. Um, yeah, really, really cool. So yeah, he has this sort of, sort of similar to uh, Boba's rifle, but not quite similar. A little bit of a different model. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I would have to do some research. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. But yeah, this is, I love the love the sculpt on the helmet. I think it looks fantastic. Helmet head, <laughs> droid head. I guess it's a I guess it's kind of a helmet to electronics and scanners and bits and pieces like that inside the droid. But yeah, the paint apps are fantastic. I love the sort of rusty, dirty look over over the uh, over the metal. In fact, these pouches are, are painted in a separate color, so they've got this sort of a brown with like an orange sort of strapping over it i think it looks good silver buckle some silver little accents down there and there and these pouches are just one solid color It'd be cool if they get out of those details like those pouches there but that's okay the fact that this droid is wearing pouches is kind of funny <laughs> um, Yeah, I love, love the sort of armor plating because we know Mando eventually takes that piece and uses it on his own own armor some point during season two and replaces that thigh pad with, with a piece of this armor with his droid <laughs> coverings. Really nicely done. Sort of gold on the arm there, some wires poking down. Same with this side. Hopefully they don't suffer from like the uh, Boba Fett, Jango Fett syndrome where the wires bending too much will break. Hopefully not. Um, there seems to be sort of enough give in there and the joints aren't moving too much. I'm not gonna do too badly there I don't think, so that's not too bad at all. His antenna on the top there. Twang. That's cool. But yeah, really, really cool looking droid. I, I like him a lot. Yeah, from the 
the back. You can sort of see some wires through there. Sort of painted a couple of them underneath. You can just sort of see under there a couple of different coloured wires. But yeah, didn't paint the rest of them on, but that's okay. That doesn't matter too much. You know, the figure on my shelf is going to be facing forward, so <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. But yeah, this this is an absolute cracking figure. I'm glad Hasbro's done this one. I love that they're really getting into, you know, really filling out those characters in uh, The Mandalorian. And uh, while I'm here, I just sort of compare him, because he kind of reminds me of a couple of other droids we've seen. Um, so we have here four LOM. This is going for that sort of bug-eyed protocol droid look. And then triple uh, zero from Dr. Afra, the, the sort of murder, murder droid. So yeah, nice to sort of see some bad guy, bad guy droids getting around. I guess he's, I don't know, I guess he was sort of part of an antagonistic crew in, uh, in Mandalorian. But yeah, cool to sort of see these three together. Sort of dark grey, menacing, threatening droids. It'd be cool to see these three out on a mission together. That'd be awesome. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the little thumbs up there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I also have memberships available i am going to be updating my membership tier video in the coming coming days hopefully uh assuming time allows but yeah i do need to update the video because i've updated the tiers but i just haven't updated the video so check that out and uh thank you very much for watching until next time may the force be with you always